Chris, you are correct. Things will be deteriorating as the day goes on. We're starting out, though, talking about pollen because it's that time of year. So, like yesterday, tree pollen is moderate. Grass, ragweed, mold, weeds, all low. And hopefully, if as an allergy sufferer, if these are your triggers, then being low will mean uh, a little bit of an easier day for you as you move around. You'll want to grab that rain gear before heading out the door. Pick up an umbrella, I think, especially if your travels are going to keep you out uh, into the afternoon. Right now, we've got dry conditions, partly cloudy for 42 degrees with winds out of the northeast at seven miles an hour, but we'll see increasing clouds as the day goes on and eventually some rain. It's 37 degrees in the Bronx, 40 for Staten Island with 42 for Sheep's Head Bay. So we're looking at temperatures that are a little on the chilly side for some and then just downright cold for parts of the area. We're just at the freezing mark for Tom's River, 31 for Yap Hank, 29 for Monticello. So this is a morning that you want to wear that winter coat out the door, right? You don't, this is not like, oh, let me put on a sweatshirt. No, coat out the door because we don't warm up a whole lot from the numbers that we're seeing right now. This is going to be the coolest day of the work week. We were at 62 degrees on Monday and then 58 degrees yesterday. Today, a 10 degree temperature drop. We will be a full 10 degrees cooler this afternoon than we were yesterday. Temperatures do start to rebound on Thursday. By Friday, we should end the week back in the 60s, right where we started. Uh, but today, 48 degrees. So we're looking at uh, right now partly cloudy skies out there, dry conditions. But we do have a complex system that is just off to our west. You can see it here in Ohio, just starting to push its way uh, into Pennsylvania. So all of this, this entire system, this is what has you know just wreaked havoc on parts of the country, especially the southernmost portion of this tip uh, system, with uh, severe thunderstorms and all. Also spawning tornadoes across the south. We are expecting a weak inversion to approach us in the north, but still we've got an alert for tonight into tomorrow because we do expect to see pockets of heavy rain starting in the overnight hours, continuing through tomorrow morning. Isolated minor flooding is going to be a possibility and that it, it will persist through your morning commute. Take a look. Here's your future cast. So we go through the afternoon, partly cloudy right now, but I mean, I think you can tell by one o'clock the clouds really start to fill in. It will be completely cloudy by this afternoon. By five, six o'clock, we'll start to see some rain moving in and then periods of rain with the heaviest of it starting around midnight, one o'clock. This is some widespread rain. The yellow and orange lets you know where we're seeing some heavier downpours, possibly some thunderstorms embedded with this system as well. That will continue through the early morning hours tomorrow. So this is six o'clock in the morning. So people who are part of that early commute will see some of that heavier rain, but it looks like it will possibly continue throughout the day. So things remain unsettled for Thursday, uh, really, and that's going to take you throughout the day. As far as how much rain we could see when it's all said and done, well, one to two inches right now is what it looks like for parts of the area. So 48 degrees today and soggy later today into tomorrow. Chris? Oh, Kaylee, thank you.